And this is like a particular type of binary tree, a particular application of binary trees that is especially useful for a lot of problems. And uh, remember why we started talking about trees? Does anybody, <laughs> why did we even start talking about this? Um, I mean, yeah, it's like a good teacher thing because I could test you on it and stuff, but like, what's the actual point of this thing in the universe? Like, why are we learning about it? Sometimes I really feel like I reached you people, you know? <laughs> this is one of those moments. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a real practical class that I run here. What were you going to say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. You said it was like a, an efficient structure. It's got maybe a log runtime. It's fast because of the branching left and right. That is something we're going to see about it. I would, that's more of stuff we're going to talk about today, but you're totally right when you say that. That's true. What else? What are, why are we learning about binary trees? What do, you, what do we do with them? I mean, we can walk around and print them, but that just seems like we're just playing around with them. Like, what's the actual point of this thing? Yeah. A lot of the collections we've dealt with are built off of them. They're yes, thank you. That's what I'm hunting for. Uh, she said some of the Stanford Library collections that we've been using are implemented sort of using a tree on the inside. To be specific, the set, map, and lexicon all are built basically using a tree. And so you're totally right. Like, basically, this is my long-winded way of learning what the hell is going on inside of those structures. How do they do what they do, and how do they do it so quickly? It has something to do with binary trees. So uh, it leads me to what I want to talk about today, binary search tree, which is the type of tree found in a set and a map. So let's talk about what that is. A binary search tree is a tree. It's, it's, it's a binary tree, but it's a specifically constrained binary tree that has the following property. Basically, stuff on the left is smaller and stuff on the right is larger. That's not a formal definition, but a more specific definition would be like if you have a node R, like R for root, then everything in R's left subtree has a value that's smaller, less than R's value. And everything in R's right subtree has a value that's greater than R's value. No duplicates, strictly less, strictly greater. And that same property must hold all the way down the tree. So like if R dot left has a certain value, then everything left of him is smaller than him, and everything right of him is bigger than him, but still smaller than me, because it's all on the left of me, do you understand? So like, it has to be basically a sorted tree from left to right in this way. So that right there is an example of a binary search tree, because smaller stuff is on the left and bigger stuff is on the right. And again, like in my example here, if this is my root, 55, everything over here has to be smaller than 55, right? So if I look at this and I see 29, anything to the right of him has to be bigger than him, but still smaller than 55, right? Because nothing over here can be bigger than... So like over here, if there were a 70, that would be okay with regard to the 29, but it wouldn't be okay with regard to the 55. So that would be an invalid binary search tree. It would just be a regular binary tree by that definition, okay? So you see my Socrative thingy, right? That means I'm going to ask you a question. Let's see if you get it. I think you probably understand what I'm getting at, but let me show you an example. Um, just a second. Fire up those phones. Okay, let's do a multiple choice. Uh, here. Here are some pictures of things that might be binary search trees. And just to be really clear, they're numbered. One is this whole thing. Two is this whole thing. Three is this one node right here. How many of these are what you would say legal binary search trees? Take a minute and cast your vote. Feel free to talk to your buddy if you want.
Is it working? Are you guys able to vote? Yeah. My phone's not showing the votes. I don't know why. Uh, give you a few more seconds. Vote if you haven't voted yet, please. All right, let's see what you guys think. So you voted. What? <laughs> That's what my phone says. Zero. OK. All right. Great. That's, uh, that's great. It's letting you vote. And now I know how you feel, right? It doesn't work for you sometimes, right? Uh... OK, I heard before the magic of Socrative, they had this advanced technology called raising your hand. <laughs> so let's play that game. You had a minute to think about this. Raise your hand if you think none of these are legal binary search trees, A. Raise your hand if you think one of them is legal, B. How about C, two of them? Lots of hands. Three of them, D. Four or more of them. OK, survey says. Uh, OK, I crossed out those ones. So I guess what does that mean? That means number one, two, and four are illegal. So three and five are legal. So C2, I think, is the right answer. But um, a lot of people miss some of these issues, right? Like, uh, let's look at why these aren't legal binary search trees. I'm kind of trying to trick you a little bit here. Like, I've got a K right there. It's, cross it's hard to see because I crossed it out. But why is that node not allowed to be there? It's on the right side of M. I mean, I guess maybe, maybe in my last slide, I didn't talk about whether if it was strings, what does that mean? But I guess I'm assuming alphabetical sorting, right? But like anything to the right of M has to come later in the alphabet. K comes earlier. It's, it's right for K to be to the left of Q, but it can't be in the right subtree of M. How about this one? I got you with the negative numbers, didn't I? Negative 1 is bigger than negative 5 and negative 7, right? So it should be on the right side. <laughs> Between the test and this slide, you probably want to throw a rock at me right now. <laughs> Number three, the one that just has a 42 in it, that almost doesn't even seem like a binary tree. It's just like a lonely little node, right? Uh, why is that a legal binary search tree? What do you say? It uh, does not violate the rule that anything on its left has to be less than it, and that anything on its right has to be greater than it. So. This is America. You are innocent until proven guilty. And like you said, it doesn't break any of the rules. One node that has a value in it, there's nothing on the wrong side of it on the left, and there's nothing on the wrong side of it on the right. So that's a legal binary search tree. So yeah, you're totally right. It's, if it's a tree and it isn't breaking the rules, it, it's legal. So this one here is mostly legal, but there's an 18 down here that I crossed out. Why is that one no good? What's wrong with that one? Yes? No duplicates. There's already an 18. Yeah. So it's, a, it's basically more of a set of things that are unique. Hmm. Interesting. Where have we seen that before? Um, and the other two are fine. The other two are, are, are legal. Or the, the three, number three and five are legal.